Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another FSR 3.1 videos. Uh, for those who don't know, FSR 3.1 just released uh, yesterday, and yeah, it's now giving update to most of the PS5 ports like uh, Spider-Man, Spider-Man Miles Morales, uh, Ratchet and Clank, uh, Ghost of Tsushima, and so on. So yeah, today we are going to be install this FSR 3.1 update into the Spider-Man Miles Morales. So we will be needing this zip, we are going to extract it on desktop. After extracting you can find all these updates here. Like uh, now you need to check the update which you are currently on. So you can do that by opening the game shortcut. So most of the chance that if you have updated your Miles Morales to the latest version. Uh, not the FSR 3.1 but uh, the latest version before that uh, your version will be something like 2.1012 you can see that version right here but I have already applied this patch so yeah now my version is this one like you can see this patch is for 2.1012 to uh, 3.61 so yeah find your version which is according to you like if you have uh, 1.1160 you will need to first update this then this then one by one by one now suppose your update version is uh, in there somewhere like say for your update version is 2.209 like this version so what you need to do is update this version like from 2.209 to 2.102 you get my steps so yeah now let's begin the installation like what is the process so for most of the users if you have updated to the latest version uh, you're gonna need to use this one uh, so double click on it now we're gonna click on ok then next next now we're gonna go to the installation directory which is here now in here you can see the milesforales.ex is located now we're going to select this path copy it come here delete the existing path paste the path we just copied we're gonna click next it will tell you to overwrite yes type your username whichever you want then next and if you now click on install it will get installed i won't be doing it because i've already done it so what i'm gonna do is now get into the gameplay and we will talk about few things <coughs> all right uh, we are back inside the game and uh, now we're gonna go to the setting and talk about few things like if i go to the setting and then display if i now scroll down you can see the frame generation has now fsr 3 frame generation inbuilt so yeah you can select that along with that uh, if i apply that you can use any kind of upscaler with it like you need to first turn off the anti-aliasing and then you can use any kind of upscaler like itgi dlss fsr3 xcss and the xcss has also been updated to 1.3 so now you can use the ultra quality plus also so yeah i'm gonna apply this ultra quality plus and maybe uh, play around few seconds and then i'll talk uh, about another thing uh, so yeah this is very smooth uh, native fsr 3 frame generation is better than mod you know because the developer has implemented it at the game level so yeah this is xs xs running fine now i'm just gonna switch to let me see which is so is option option available here more uh let's use dlss quality along with the fsr 3 frame generation so yeah this is dlss dlss is superior like the image is very sharp no fuzziness no blurriness yeah also one more thing which i wanted to talk about is you can now also use you can now also use the fc fsr 3 native anti-aliasing and xcss 1.3 native anti-aliasing uh, these are the native resolution like uh, some kind of upscaler has been built into this upscaler like xcss uh, anti-aliasing you can see uh, the frame rate has gone a little bit lower because this is native resolution along with the upscalers anti-aliasing so yeah now you can also use the fsr3 native anti-aliasing too if i go to the setting again if i switch the anti-aliasing yeah there we go uh, fsr 3 native anti-aliasing uh, you can see the image is little bit crisp and sharper but the fsr uh, the fps has gone a little bit lower so yeah that's in the game if you want the superior quality but uh, if you have having low fps you can always use the upscalers uh, and uh, yeah along with the frame generation so yeah this will be it for this video mm, i hope this will help you 
if this helps you you can subscribe to the channel uh, if you're facing any kind of issue while updating the game or anything you can comment down below join the discord for more future fsr 3.1 updates and i'll see you guys in the next one cheers